searching for the right words to call this, this. You see, I was never very good at doing pink. All my friends in high school succeeded at being girl. I was a loser at it. I failed at makeup. Imagine 10,000 spiders maimed and melted. This is what my eyelashes looked like after many attempts at mascara. World War II encapsulated in a tube of lipstick bloodied. My lips could never quite stay in the lines. I just didn't get the hang of hitting corners with my hips that sway, that sways everyone that glances. Back then I urged Webster's to invent a word I could call myself that felt better than this, penned letters that I never had the courage nor correct address to send. Dear Webster's Dictionary, I am a loser. Okay, perhaps there are some things I can do well, like cartwheels and lying and listening to music and getting high, but the thing is I feel like something is missing on me or in me. My best friends balance double D's on their chest while my cotton poly blend undershirt mocks me for my lack of voluptuousness. I want to believe there are many ways to be this, this girl. Bruised knees and tangled hair and please, Websters, don't call out tomboy because I'm thinking of a word that is neither pink nor blue. Do you think you can help me love Amy, age 14? So I cut my hair and bleached its history. I treated my strands like a canvas and painted them. I titled myself Freak before anyone else could. Carved misfit into my arms with spit and frustration when I was 15 and a half. And finally got my period. My mother handed me a box with everything she thought I needed to understand menstruation. A plastic pouch to carry my menstrual pad, a calendar to track my cycle, and an illustrated book all about my uterus. <laughs> You're a woman now, she said to me, or something like that. Afterwards, I thought, what was I before this moment? <laughs> the thing is, no one prepares anyone to be a champion at their gender. I was never taught with pop quizzes and strength training. I am still learning. Dear Websters, there's got to be a word out there for me. 36, and I am learning how to defy. I carry envelopes around instead of dictionaries to catch the words and sounds which feel more like this, this. To be a loser means I keep trying. I kind of like being this runner up to my gender. Failure to fit neatly in the lines of pre-ordered words. Dear Webster's. How about I use your pages and paste wings big enough to fly me out of this linguistic confusion? And you can find me alphabetized somewhere between androgynous and zesty. <laughs> oh, who am I making myself clear? Woo! <laughs> 